This is not a good situation. Hey everyone, headed to a call in Scottsdale right now. A gentleman just called me. He says he has a rattlesnake that is hanging out by his horses. So we gotta get that one out of there so no one gets hurt. Uh, I'm about 10 minutes away. He did say that the snake is contained. Uh, I'm not too sure how or uh, what he meant by that, but I guess we'll find out here shortly. Hi, it's Brian from Rattlesnake Solutions, and I'm headed your uh -huh. way. I've never, haven't been around one that's this aggressive. I mean, he, he started getting in strike mode eight feet away from him, and as I walk around him, he's looking at me. You can do me a favor and just hang out and do uh -huh. exactly what you're doing, and then he'll stay okay. stay where he's supposed to. He's kind of held there by your presence. If you left, that's he'll, what just, I figured. he'll go hide. Go so away. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks, Susan. All right, rattlesnake at a horse property. Horses do get bit by rattlesnakes sometimes. One of the interesting cultural things that happens with rattlesnake bites to horses is that there seems to be some weird cultural shame involved with calling a, a vet. So there are obviously country vets that work on horses, but where I'm from, you can kind of get a little little hate for that from the, the community, which is a weird thing. And I don't own horses, so this has been described to me that uh, they'll wait. It's some weird thing about, uh, you know, wanting to use grandma's old recipe of rubbing honey on the nose of the horse or something like that. And a lot of times people wait a long time or too long to get antivenom or proper treatment and that's to the uh, detriment of the horse, but they usually survive. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Here last year? Uh, yeah, a couple <laughs> times. Long time no see. Yeah, so we got him in a bucket. So okay. Come on, come on through. You guys just um, missed me, so huh? <laughs> yes, we did. We, we went out, we got a snake, we put it in the I bucket. knew it. Well, so when do you take, yeah, I know you guys take these to ASU. No, no, uh, yeah. we work with ASU, they do oh, okay. stuff, they use our data, but um, we relocate them right after. Oh, okay. Like I take them, I hug them back into the desert uh, right after this. Oh, wow, you got like Clydesdales? Yeah, it? Dang. She's a pretty baby. Oh, hi, it's a big horse. All right, so we got here. So hopefully it doesn't scurry anywhere. Yeah, it's not. Ah, there oh, it is. He's going under there. Oh. Thank God. Yeah. Because I don't want these. Is it a diamondback? Yeah, it's a western diamondback. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that isn't really grabbing in a minute. How long have you been doing that? Uh, we did company for you. Wow. Uh, but I've been catching snakes long before that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so huh? Yeah. He's probably going to strike the lid. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, I didn't do it. Oh my gosh. Can I pet one of your horses? Oh my gosh. Is that like a miniature donkey? Yeah. yeah. Oh my. Domino. <laughs> Domino. What's well, this big one's name? That's Bonnie. Bonnie. Come here, Bon Bon. Bonnie, you're giant. Yes, come here, Squeakle. You can't oh let me go. Oh my gosh. Oh. She's this one friendly. wants to pet me. Yeah, this is Foxy. Foxy. She's not a What's her name? Petunia. Petunia. <laughs> oh my god. She's a big name. Yeah, oh man. Oh, how fun. I want horses. What is your name? Marissa. Marissa. <laughs> well, we'll probably see you again, Marissa. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that just inviting snakes? It, it looks wonderful. I'd want to hang up there if I was a snake. <laughs> so where's yeah. he at? It's the snake there. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah. No, not today. Sometimes I do if I'm going into the, if I'm doing work with wild snakes, I will. Oh, yeah, he's all excited. Is Do I, is it okay if I take a look around and just kind of see? All right, so I've been to that house a few times actually. That was the first time I got one by the stables though. I'm really thankful that they saw it and uh, none of the horses stumbled across it. You know, horse properties, you got lots of grain and stuff for the horses, which brings in rodents 
Snakes love rodents. Also lots of water for the horses. Misters, it's nice and cool in that stable. It's a great place for a snake to go to when the desert's super hot. You can come get a drink, come get food. Situation worked out great because the owners saw the snake before the horse did. So I'm happy it worked out the way it did. Fired up. Come on. Hey, little one. Oh, wow. Maybe with my uh, recent history with bees, this is not a good situation. I gotta go tell her too. Oh shit. <laughs> there is a big beehive forming up there. Have you seen that? Uh, right out past that barn over there. I went to or that building behind my car. Hopefully they're just passing through, but they're kind of going into a hole and they look like they're, oh, just be careful over there. And if, if they're still there tomorrow, I would call somebody. I'm gonna try to sneak and check out that building though before I go. Is that going after the curb? Let me take it for you. There's a there's a big beehive that's forming right there. Like a huge swarm right behind there on that tree. Yeah, I'll, t I'll take it out there for you. I don't, it's, there's a lot of bees. Wow. All good. All right, see ya. What is up with bees? 